Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and as requested by one of my viewers, here is an uh, Eve Talk special. Um, it's only going to be about the Plex and the banning of Ice Boxer. So that's actually a pretty big change in policy from CCP, where basically they will no longer allow people to press one button that will have an impact or an effect on more than one account, which at the moment is being used for uh, stuff like soloing uh, incursions. Um, let's sit down. Um, uh, there's also bomber fleets that are perfectly well coordinated because of this. Of course, miners use this extensively as well. And I guess ratting is maybe another activity that can be done um, more efficiently using this type of software and more accounts. So let's uh, let me see if I can find it once again. Um, you have to go to the community site. And then to the forums and i think it's just uh, a top announcement here update regarding multiboxing and input automation so multiboxing refers to players um, to playing as multiple separate characters simultaneously across a number of accounts either by using multiple computers to run the game or by using a number of instances of eve on a single computer uses for multiboxing range from scouts in pvp gang boosting etc um, and multiboxing is allowed, so you can still be logged in with separate accounts at the same time. Let's say an off-grid booster, uh, a scout. Um, but input automation and input broadcasting and input multiplexing is where the uh, problems will start to come on January 1st. So input automation refers to actions that are commonly also referred to as botting or macroing. Uh, this is obviously has never been allowed, um, but input broadcasting and input multiplexing uh, refer to the multiplication of inputs, actions and events to multiple instances of the game. And let me see here. Uh, the first strike policy will be 30 day ban. Second strike will be a permanent ban. Uh, ban. And um, we have decided to also apply this two strike policy to prohibit uh, to prohibited forms of input broadcasting and input multiplexing as of January 1st 2015 we would like to add however that we will not be taking action retroactively and will only be policing this uh, policy uh, as of January 1st 2015 so yeah basically anything that allows you to give commands with a single press of the button to multiple accounts will be prohibited starting next year uh, this includes when you have like five or six keyboards and you make an elaborate um, key um, frame so that uh, one press on on the frame will press the same button on all of your keyboards that's not allowed uh, obviously is boxer or IS Boxer did the same thing, but then through a program that will no longer be allowed. There are, however, some things that IS Boxer does that will still be allowed. Uh, things, for instance, like if you have three or four instances of the game running, you can group windows or uh, buttons on a single window. And for instance, let's say that you're um, using four minor accounts and uh, you're in machinas with all of them so that means two street miners for every machina what is still allowed is to have is boxer group all of the uh, shortcuts to your uh, street miners in a single window and then it's just a matter of uh, pressing all of them individually giving a command to separate clients that will still be okay so from this i do think that the biggest effect is going to be on stuff like incursions ratters those stealth bombers people that use this in pvp for ganking fleets basically you have 20 ganking accounts on yourselves uh, solo you icebox and you can perfectly um, tell all 20 uh, destroyers for instance to fire at exactly the same time those times will be over for miners It'll be more annoying, you won't see people with 20 or 30 miners anymore, but 4 or 5 is probably still very manageable. And so I actually think that the impact on mining will be less than, um, than what some people are expecting. Um, obviously, this has had an impact on Plex. Uh, a lot of people that have been using upwards of 10 accounts, I think is not realistic anymore without some form of automation across the different accounts. And so a lot of people are, uh, well, basically dumping their Plex, threatening to uh, unsub all of those accounts, which honestly I don't think is such a bad thing. Why the hell would you play EVE Online with 20 accounts? Just It doesn't make any sense to me. I play with one account, I've got my Jita alt, I've got a scout. Uh, that can um, 
that can do some uh, some exploration you know that can probe to Cloaky and I get my main that's that's all I need in EVE Online honestly even more just becomes work I, I don't really understand people doing it like that but okay they're there and uh, now they're gonna have to change the way they play the game um, here is the crash for Plex um, hitting like 960 current prices 886 for the sellers 872 for the buyers uh, so that is obviously like 100 million less in, in a matter of a day. Uh, so this is indeed a serious correction in Plexus. Um, yeah, the main reason is basically that all those IS boxers that are more efficient at making ISK than the average player or have been really increasing the cost of um, of Plexus. And so it's not something I'd really thought a lot about, but I think it's absolutely true. Let's say that you have someone that is uh, ice boxing or several people that are ice boxing uh, 20 or 25 uh, ratting ships and they're raking in billions uh, per hour that way, way more than anyone in just a single account, normal activity um, could make. Uh, same with someone uh, doing this for uh, incursions they're just making so much money that they're inflating the entire economy above what the normal average for someone playing EVE Online for 30 days would be and thus greatly inflating the price of Plex because obviously I think one of the first investments you'll make as someone that runs 20 or 30 accounts is you'll buy as many Plex as you can so that you can keep those afloat without having to pay uh, 30 uh, subscriptions to, to CCP. I think that this is actually a major impact and we're seeing the correction from this already. Um, now is boxing or ice boxing will still be allowed for like 30 days or something until the end of the year so I'm actually sure that there will be some people that are gonna milk the hell out of it as much as possible um, but yeah from January 1st we can really see a, a serious correction I think um, it's it's to be expected there will be a lot of accounts that will unsub uh, because of this because they've only existed to be used in this form of gameplay um, and uh, yeah, this will have an impact on the game. Personally, uh, I think it's good for the game. Um, it will slow everything down a little bit. It'll cool the economy down. Uh, sure, it may mean some more expensive Tech One chips, more expensive minerals, but it will probably also mean less expensive Plex. Um, and basically, it it slows the turnover cycle of resources and ISK in the economy. Uh, and for people that play like myself with just one account with one character at the time this actually um, increases my chances of seeing an impact from what I do if I find a good exploration site and I make a few hundred million those few hundred million will actually mean a lot more if there's not uh, uh, a lot of people that are just one player that have like 20 accounts and that make that kind of money constantly doing activities in like NullSec um, or in incursions uh, that that basically increase the the in, uh, the the influence um, or no the uh, the faucets yeah basically the faucets of ISK and certain goods to uh, levels that could never be reached without this type of automation. So um, I think it's good for the game uh, and uh, I think CCP is quite brave to uh, take this approach. I mean it's been allowed for a long time. Uh, if there's any point to be made, I think it's that this should have been banned a lot sooner because it's not healthy for the game. Uh, and CCP took a long time to take this decision. Uh, it will probably hurt them a little bit short term. I honestly don't think that Plexus or where it's gonna hurt. It's just gonna be that there's less active accounts because of this. Because of those people and subbing a lot of them. Um, but for the long term of the game, I actually feel that this is better. One point that I've seen in the comments that I think is absolutely right. Is that yes sure minerals will be more expensive take one chips may become more expensive um, but this will actually allow new players that play for the very first time with only one character a much it will give them a much better chance to work their way up in the eve uh, ladder in in the eve economy than they do now when they have to compete with something like uh, someone es boxing um, 20 or, or 30 miners why how could you ever compete with uh, those types of miners the, the scaling of it just becomes ridiculous um, they can crush any margin anyone coming into that market uh, and uh, 
no matter what the activities that they do. So I actually think that this is a good decision. The crash for Plex seems to have started and I think we'll see um, this weekend for the next EVE talk whether or not it's going to be a continued crash already. Uh, another possibility I think is a little bit of a stalling here because the iceboxers can still do what they do and that it's only uh, after January 1st uh, that we will actually see the real impact of this change on the Plex market. But I think it's of course very interesting, very interesting times in EVE Online and some, some very brave decisions being made by CCP. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.